Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at illustrations in Excel. So these are objects that you can add into your workbooks to add a little bit of visual appeal. So for example, maybe you have a sales dashboard for an office supply company. You can add in an illustration like this to add that extra visual layer. So let's take a look at how we can use these. Let's go up to the Insert tab and under icons is where you'll find the illustrations. So we have all our icons that we can add in. We also have up here images and cutout people and stickers. And here is our option for illustrations. Now there's a lot of choices here and you can select one or more illustrations from here. So let's maybe uh, add in this computer illustration here and we can insert that into the workbook and then resize it as we need. And now if we want to, we can customize this, but first we're going to have to convert this into Excel shapes. So right now it's just one object and we can select it and go up to the graphics format tab. And there's an option here to convert to shapes. So let's use that. And you can see now we've got a bunch of individual components. So here I can move around my calculator now and I can also select individual shapes in that calculator. And if I want to, I could go up to the shape format tab and change the color. So let's change that to a green. And now we've got a custom calculator in our illustration. Now let's just take a look at what these are. So you can see that if you right click on one of these uh, illustrations, if you go to the group options, there's an option to ungroup. And what that's going to do is just separate all these individual shapes that the computer illustration is made up of. So this is the same kind of shape as you'll find in the insert tab under shapes. So here's a rectangle shape that's pretty similar. And this entire laptop here is just made up of those individual shapes. So each one of those little keys is a rectangular shape. And there must be hundreds of them in this illustration. So I thought this was a pretty cool little feature in Excel. Hopefully you can get some use out of it. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.